What's up guys, my name is PC from Charlie and so, so we're approximately two or three weeks since the release of Modern Warfare Remastered on November 4th 2016 on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. And over the course of its release and up until this point of me making this video, I've been observing the feedback people have been making towards Raven Software about Modern Warfare Remastered, specifically about multiplayer in terms of fixes, changes and requests and overall differences people have noticed since the original release in 2007. So be sure to check out the last few videos on my channel where I cover such things as collateral damage, time to kill, the M16 where people want to nerf for that weapon and so on. So in this video I thought I'd cover a few of the most popular requests in terms of adding or restoring features or making additions which are either new to the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare game or what were in the original game from 2007 but for some reason missing in the remastered version of Modern Warfare. So first up, many people are calling out for a double XP weekend or weekends on Modern Warfare Remastered. So as we all know, every time a new Call of Duty game comes out, they do a double XP weekend on its launch weekend, uh, followed by a few more over the course of the next few weeks, up until the holidays and then after the holidays also into the new year, uh, which of course will be 2017 this year, uh, just to incentivize people to play the game more, level up uh, prestige, and uh, level up their weapons and so on also. Now, as we know, Infinite Warfare is on its second weekend of double XP at the time of me making this video. So literally right now, if you play Infinite Warfare as of November 19th or November 20th, uh, whenever you watch this video, it's currently double XP on Infinite Warfare, whereas Modern Warfare Remastered has had absolutely nothing in regards to uh, double XP since the release of that game on November 4th, 2016, which of course was the same time as Infinite Warfare. Now, uh, as you can imagine, many people in the community are quite pissed by this, uh, given the fact, of course, technically they're two separate games, we pay for those two games, and it'd be cool to have double XP on both games over the course of its launch weeks. Now, it shouldn't come as any surprise that Activision, of course, wants to push Infinite Warfare, given the fact, of course, it's the flagship new game in the franchise, so therefore all the marketing budget and so on is going towards that game because it is quite critical the game performs well uh, to prove to the investors and shareholders and so on that they're doing the right thing and going the right direction, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so therefore, one metric of working out how successful the game is is uh, in terms of how many people are actually playing multiplayer and so on because they use that metric to, uh, you know, for a number of reasons, essentially, in terms of development and what they add in terms of, like, DLC, all that kind of stuff as well. So therefore, we should expect to see some double XP weekends over the course of the next few months, perhaps, uh, for Modern Warfare Remastered. I'd imagine we'll see at least one around the time of December, given the fact, of course, they're releasing a DLC map pack uh, for Modern Warfare Remastered, which includes the six missing maps for multiplayer, alongside some additional stuff as well. So hopefully, around that kind of time, they'll do a double XP weekend. If not, we should have a couple over the course of 2017. Uh, but do remember, I imagine that the focus will always be on Infinite Warfare, as that is the main game. But don't think they won't do a double XP weekend at some point over the course of the next like 11 or 12 months for Modern Warfare Remastered. So next up, you may have noticed they've removed the connection or ping bars from the score list when you're playing in a match within the remastered version of Modern Warfare. So in the 2007 original, you could check your own connection and the connection of others in the same match on a scale of one to four bars that would show next to your name in the score list. And it would be like red or amber or green in terms of how good or bad your connection is. So it was quite useful to diagnose whether you're the reason for lagging or others are the reason for why the game is so bad and laggy. And therefore, I take appropriate actions such as to quit the game or just work out if it's your like internet screwing up or something like that. Now, I have no idea why they removed it. So hopefully, given the feedback is quite strong on Twitter in terms of requests for that feature to come back in the remastered version of Modern Warfare that Raven Software add it in at some point in the future uh, within a patch. So fingers crossed that actually happens fairly soon. So another really popular request is adding Shipment 24-7 as a playlist to Modern Warfare Masters. So I know people love that map, uh, number one because it's absolutely mental to play on, and secondly you earn XP at a higher average on that map versus other maps in the remastered version of Modern Warfare. Given the fact of course it's just uh, so intense and you normally score more kills and so on on average uh, versus other maps depending on what game you're playing and so on. So I do understand why people want that, so hopefully they'll add that at some point soon. Given the fact, of course, we're lacking a double XP weekend, so it kind of makes sense to give that to us instead if we're not going to get a double XP weekend anytime soon. Another request I've seen is the ability to toggle on or off dual render scope in the remastered version of Modern Warfare. It wasn't in the original in 2007, but it is in the remastered version. I understand why it's there because it makes the game look nicer, I guess you could say, uh, but ultimately it isn't necessarily a feature. That was in the original 
Uh, so therefore, it'd be cool to have the option to toggle it on or off uh, based on user preference. Of course, there is the option to toggle on or off medals, which they introduced based on feedback when it was first unveiled uh, from Quadra EXP. So if they do add a toggle on or off for drawing the scope, that will also be really cool. And it would obviously cater for those guys who just want it to be like the original authentic experience from the 2007 release. So that's everything for this video. Be sure to let me know if you have any more requests in the comment section below that I've missed in this video. Uh, I've just covered a few of them here. I know there's more out there in general, but I thought I'd cover the most popular ones I've seen on Twitter, YouTube, and so on also in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And of course, subscribe for further Charlie Intel content every once two days. See you next video. Goodbye.